Hey there everybody, welcome to another Get Rich tutorial. Today I'm going to be working in Adobe CS5's InDesign. I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your master pages to easily insert page numbers throughout a document. Also, I'll provide you with some little helpful tips and tricks along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a new document. Uh, we're going to want some facing pages on this. I don't know the number of pages right now, so I'm just going to leave it as one. Uh, page size for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it a standard letter size. I'm going to link up all my margins and bleed so they're the same, but obviously you can make it whatever you need it to be. Go ahead and click OK and we have our document inside in design now. Now I need to place in the text I want, so go up to File Place, or you can just use your keyboard shortcut Command D to pull up your menu here and grab the document you want. I'm going to use this business plan that I created with some classmates just because I know it has a bunch of pages on it. So as you can see it has loaded my cursor with the text there and if you were to just click inside your document you can see that it has only given us the first page and then given us this little red box down here saying there's some overset text and you know there's a bunch more text down there but obviously we want that to appear so let's go ahead and undo that command Z and this little trick here is really helpful when dealing with multiple pages. Um, with your loaded cursor, if you were to hold down the shift key, you can see that little squiggly line up here. And while holding the shift key down, click inside your document. Then boom, baby, InDesign will automatically throw in the exact number of pages needed for the document, which is really nice, really easy to do. And with a big document like this, page numbers are definitely nice to have, especially if you're you have a table of contents, it just makes sense. So to insert some page numbers, let's go up here to our, make sure you have your pages tab open. You can see your A master there. Let's double click on your A master. And as you can see, we have our document here. And we want our page numbers to be on the bottom left and bottom right hand side of the document. So over here in your toolbar, get your type tool or keyboard shortcut T create a type box to where you want your page number to be obviously you can change the size the font but we'll just leave it as is for right now go up to your menu bar click on type come down to insert special character markers and current page number and as you can see InDesign throws in an A there saying that we are on our A master and don't worry though because when you go down to inside your document it, it shows the page number not an A but that's only when you're on your master pages so back in here we want to center this up a little bit so it's not right on the line and let's line this up with our margin so it's nice and pretty now it's on the left hand side of our document now we need page numbers over here on the right hand side so with your selection tool selected go ahead and click the the type box hold down your option key to copy click and drag while holding the option key down and let go and there you go we should automatically have page numbers on both sides of our pages really nice really easy to do um, but let's say we go to our page one our title page I don't really want a page number down here it's not necessary so say I want to delete that uh, because we put it on our master page when that dealing in the actual document you cannot click on it it locks it down but an easy way to edit within the document uh, something that is on the master page go ahead and hit command shift click and you can see it lets you select it go ahead and delete it or change it whatever you want it to do again I don't need one on my table of contents so again it's command shift and then click lets you delete it right out of there super easy very nice little feature and so let's say when when you're dealing in your document you want to have a repeating element on let's say the bottom right hand page on like pages 11 and 17 and just a few of them but not all of them if you were to go up to your master page and create a, a type box and throw some type in there um, and then come down it would it would obviously apply to every page in your document and you could go through and 
Command, Shift, click and delete the ones you don't want. Or, let's go back up to our master page, delete that out. Um, up here next to your master page, go ahead and give it a right click, do new master. Um, it's going to give it the prefix B, it'll be called the B master. You can obviously name it something different, but B master works for me. And we want to base this on the A master, meaning that it'll, it'll have everything on the A master as well. So if we don't, if we did none and we were to do this, and uh, it would basically delete the page numbers off whatever we inserted the, the information on. So we want our page numbers to, to remain on there. So we're going to base it on that A master. We're going to want two pages. Go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, we now have a B master up here. And it has changed our, our uh, page number to a B, just meaning we're on the B master. So let's say we want to have some information down here. And let's go ahead and just center that up. Now, if we go through our document, you can see it is not on there. It is nowhere to be found inside our document. It's just hanging out on our B master for right now. But let's say I want it on page three. All you have to do is go up to where the B master is, click on it, click, hold, drag it down to where it goes, and there it is. Pops up there automatically on that page. Um, you don't want it on page 7, it's not there, it's not on page 11, but oh, I do want it on page 13. Click, drag, boom, throws it in there. So it's super easy if you have a repeating element that you only want on a few pages. It helps like to get the alignment the exact same so you're not over there trying to fuss with like your rulers and making sure it's the exact distance from your page number. Using your master pages will help you a lot when trying to be uh, precise with your placements. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and come back and I hope to have some more or something. So yeah, have fun. Talk to you later.